Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode, I think, 130. I think, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing this without my laptop. Um, I think I brought it in here. Did I bring it in here? I can't remember now. <laughs> I didn't. I meant to go back and get it and I forgot. But I think I can remember most of what everything is. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hop into it because, yeah, I just filmed a really long mail video. And I'm ready to get out of this room because it's cold in here. <laughs> Alright, I do have some finished objects to share with you guys today. And a couple whips. Alright, we'll start with a little finished object. Dang it, I know I forgot something. I made this out of a kit that I was gifted. And I left it in my bedroom. I will insert a picture of it. I got a kit, a crochet kit, uh, in my, my what is it called, Advent. <laughs> from uh, Rebecca. And I made this the same day that I opened that. <laughs> it is a coffee mug cozy. I didn't bring a mug in here. But it's a unicorn. It's got a button on the back. It does fit my favorite mug. I have one of those um, Starbucks destinations or whatever. It's the state of North Carolina that was gifted to me. I love it. It's like the perfect size because it's a smaller mug. And when I make my teas, I only do six ounces of water. And it's perfect for that. But anyways, this does fit that. <laughs> this was made with the yarn and hook and everything from the kit. I used everything from the kit to make this. And I made it while watching Elf, the movie. So it was fun. I want to start a picture of that kit because I can't remember. I think it's in my bedroom. Actually, it might be in here. Let me look real fast. No, it's in my bedroom. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the kit is from, um, I think it's called Hinkler or something like that. I'll link it below. The only place I could find it. I couldn't find it on Amazon or anywhere. So I found it on the website from, that, they, that it's from. So yeah. So I made that from there. This is made with uh, DK weight yarn, I'm pretty sure little tiny yarn. <laughs> so that's finished object number one. Uh, finished object number two and three go together. It's a hat and a cowl set. Where's the yarn bed? I made it with yarn that was gifted to me recently. Uh, it's Mandala Ombre Zen was the color. Mandala Ombre. <laughs> and uh, it's called the Bead Stitch Hat. I'll link the pattern below. It's a free hat. It's really cute. Let's see if I can put it on. <laughs> It's got, uh, these are called the bead stitches, and it's also got some, um, single and half double crochet in the third loop, so it gives it, like, a knit look right there, these little ribby parts, <laughs> and then it does have a ribbed, um, brim. <laughs> it is, uh, front post and back post double crochets, do it in sets of twos. I think it's really pretty. This yarn came out really pretty. I like how it like striped. <laughs> I didn't color control at all. It just did that itself. <laughs> it looks good though. But uh, this is a free hat pattern. I'll link it below. I already said that. And then it has a matching cowl. I didn't follow the cowl exactly because I like my cowls closer to my neck. And also I was afraid I was going to run out of yarn. So I, the cowl, the actual cowl pattern is larger. It's like a looser, you know, floppy one. But I made mine, I chained less. But I did do all the same stitches. So it's basically the same stitches as a hat, just in cow version. But I like my cows. Could probably be a headband. <laughs> but I like my cows close to my neck. My end was sticking out. That's okay. We'll just hide it. So I like them like that. Oh boy, my son keeps in nerve to me, but that's okay. But anyways, I could. This could also be like a headband, ear warmer thing. <laughs> but I like my cows to be actually close to my neck because I usually wear like a jacket, and then my cow, you know, kind of like a turtleneck. But yeah, so that's that. I did have some left over. I probably could have made the cowl with the actual pattern, but I was scared I was going to run out of yarn, so I didn't. <laughs> but that's okay. So there's the hat and the cowl to go with my many other hat and cowl sets that I have. I have so many. It's not even funny. <laughs> okay. This next finished object is another free pattern. I, I'll say it's by Heidi Yates. I could not find this on her Ravelry or her Etsy shop to buy the PDF. Cause I think it was for an event, and I do all her events pretty much. <laughs> but I did find it on her website. I'll link it below. Um, where you can download the PDF, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I mean, I type it in Google and it pops it up, so I'm sure it's fine. Um, but it's a little snowman. <laughs> and, uh, it's wearing a little hat and little mittens and a scarf. I made this scarf and all that. All the purple is a scrap ball that I don't know what it is. I think it's Red Heart, but I'm not exactly sure. The body is Red Heart white, and then this is Pumpkin. I did not a so good job at doing that. <laughs> I tried to stitch it on there, but it looks weird. I made the eyes because the pattern calls for buttons, and I didn't have any little black buttons. 
So I just crocheted little circles and put little white lines on them. But this is going to be a gift for somebody. I got to wrap it up. And um, I think it's cute. I made it in one day. It was a pretty quick little project. It came out really quickly. And uh, I think it's cute. I think I did good. The face looks a little weird. <laughs> but that's okay. Because I'm not an embroiderer. I am a crocheter. <laughs> so I don't mind. That is a little goofy looking. He's still cute cute enough to gift so there's that this is free too um at the time of me doing this i don't know if it's supposed to be free or not but uh super cute my last finished object 100 percent finished object is my blanket my 6a kids blanket so here it is all finished i did put a border on it but just a really simple border i just did three rows of single crochet <laughs> i finished it off to like a baby blanket size kind of big when you last seen it it was right here where this gray is I saw I added this pink gray and then pink and border so I did a lot of crocheting on it since I last showed it and I'm gonna fold this up keep it nice and pretty for my fair next year hopefully if all the COVID stuff is a little bit better and uh, my fair exists because they you know they canceled it this year and um, this is going to be in the baby blanket category, hopefully, if the fairy is the thing next year. So I'm just going to, I have a tote where I keep my fairy entries. And I'm just going to um, put this in there and then work on something else. <laughs> I need to work on a big giant afghan for that. But that is a free pattern also. It's called the Six Day Kids Blanket. And I'll link the information for that below too in the description. And I made that with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, um, Anthracite, and Sea Coral. Really pretty. I used one whole jumbo ball of each. And then I used like almost a whole um, regular ball of the gray and about half of a regular ball of the pink. So I still have some left. I have a scrap of the gray and a little bit of the pink. And then I have two whole balls up here. Of one of each. So I still got a lot of stuff that I can make with that here. So that's all my finished objects. I do have a couple objects that are almost finished but they're not completely finished. So they don't count. But... I will show them really quickly. These are the Hobby Horse, oh not so what it's called, Candy Cane Horse Snuggie thing. <laughs> it is a free pattern by Suzanne over at God Crochet, no, no, no. Is it God Crochet Enchanter? Crochet God Enchanter? I can't remember, it's one of those. It'll be McFlow. She has another channel called As Spirit Moves that she does with her husband. But she made these a long time ago and she got in contact with the person who originated the pattern and they gave her permission to use the pattern however she wants. So she made a quick tutorial and wrote up the pattern and I printed it out and I made a bunch of them. And I'm planning on making a whole bunch more. <laughs> it's in a bag so it's going to make some noise. Alright, so here's a red one. All he needs is eyes. I have eyes, I just haven't glued them on yet. But I got his reins done. His jingle bell. He's already on a candy cane. And then I made a red one with different color hair. He needs his reins and his eyeballs. And then I made a brown one. He needs a candy cane. <laughs> his eyes and his reins. And then I made a green one. <laughs> he needs his mane, eyes, and reins. And I started another red one, but it's left in there because it's just like that much. I made the ears and like that much of the snout <laughs> but um yeah so i'm getting these made up i want to give them to my family members and they're super easy to make while watching tv i did make they're all made the same but um i noticed this cafe latte and spring green came out significantly smaller than the other ones and it's just because you know some yarns thicker than other yarns so on this one this one i had to actually add an extra row so that the candy cane would fit in there. But that's okay. Because it'll look fine once it's all together. I really love these patterns. <laughs> it's so cute, I think. So I'm going to make up some more of those. I, got, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought a bunch of stuff for... I bought some googly eyes. To glue on there. And I bought some... Silver and gold bales. <laughs> I also grabbed a bag of these. I thought I might use them for something. Because they're cute. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that. I'll link all that information down below too. Um, yeah, I do. I will give you a hint to that pattern though. If you're making it with just one ball of yarn, make the ears first. Because <laughs> you got to add the ears on before you close it. 
So I wrote on my pattern before I printed it out in big letters up at the top to make the ears first so that I can remember to make the ears and then have them cut off and ready, you know, to go and then make the snout and neck so I can sew the ears on and close up the neck without having to cut the yarn. But, uh, yeah. I think it's so cute. <laughs> this one just needs eyeballs. <laughs> a little bit more than I should, I think, but they're just cute. All right. My only other whip that I have is my granny blanket that I have been working on since December 1st. Well, I started it earlier this year, but I started working on it during Advent because um, I was gifted balls of scrap iron to put into it. So, let's see here. I've added a lot to it. <laughs> Where is my other stitch worker? Okay. It's somewhere. There it is. Okay, so this stitch marker right here, this blue color is where I started with the advent balls. This blue was the first advent ball all the way up to this blue. <laughs> and then over here, it's on the other side. The stitch marker right here is where you guys last seen it on a No Kitchen Name episode. So I've added that much <laughs> since you last seen it on a No Kitchen Name episode. And it's getting big. It's getting big. This this color here was the today's color. It is a blue, but it is like a tonal blue. There's a couple. There's like two different shades of blue in it. <laughs> you can see it better in person. But it's really pretty. I'd say this is about getting close to being done. I think I think I'll just have to add a little bit more yarn to it after next week because the 25th is next a week from today. Christmas is. So I got seven more colors from the gift to put in there, and then I might have to add a little bit more just to make it the right length. I want it nice and long to where I can snuggle with it on the couch. So, that'll be. Okay, I got interrupted by my son, but that's okay because he's, he's my baby. Anyways, I think, um, I think I'll be able to finish this in December. Because I want it to be, when I'm on the couch, laying down watch TV, I want to be able to have it tucked under my feet, you know, when you're snuggled up. And then I also want it pulled up to, like, you know, when you're snuggled up on the couch. So, hmm. Let's see how many rows that is. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. About 40 more rows-ish. And it'll be done. And I do about two rolls a day so far. Um, during Advent. Because the balls that she sent me. Are like roughly two rows worth of yarn. So I think I'll be able to put the rest of her yarn in there. And then I'll be able to add just a little bit of my own scraps. And it'll be done. I'm excited about getting this done. Because <laughs> it's actually really nice. I love the way it's coming out. And um, I've been just knotting the ends like three times. And then trimming them to like an inch or so. I think it adds to the scrappiness, just being able to see the little ends poking up, you know. I just, I don't know. I just, I love it. I can't wait to use it. <laughs> it's going to go on my couch, and I'm going to use it probably all the time. Because I love snuggly blankets. But, uh, I like also having to weave in ends. Because <laughs> that's so fun. But, uh, yeah. So that's all of my whips and my finished objects this week. I showed all my happy... I showed all my happy mail in another video that, uh, will be up on Saturday. I think <laughs> and um yeah so I guess that's it for right now <laughs> I uh I don't know what else I'm gonna work on because now I'm just down to the horses and the, the scrap blanket as my whips well, I do have that cardigan started but I haven't worked on it at all in a couple weeks because I've been working on these other things so I don't know I might work on that <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know what I have planned but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and try to get this edited I'm gonna have to cut out a lot because <laughs> I got interrupted a few times but that's okay I will see you guys in the next video bye guys